Because it's an old well. This is the first well that they punched in the reserve here. When they punched it through, it uh, trembled and shook, shook everything. My community is located in the middle of two of the three tar sands deposits. Every square kilometer in those deposits that fall within our traditional hunting territory have been leased out to industry without um, the Canadian government uh, following through with their duty to consult with the Beaver Lake Cree. And we called this the island because it was surrounded by water. All the water used to be here? Yeah, it used to be like right where the trees start. That was all water. It was swamped and then the rest was lake. Now there's no water. I know when I was a child, take a cup, we could take a container and drink the water just right behind me here. That's, that's no longer possible. We were the first environmentalists. We were the first scientists. When you take sage especially, you don't take the root. You leave the root in. Because it regrows from the root. Like when you pull the root, you're pulling the whole plant. This is your whole church. That's what I was told and I believe that. Like, this whole world is our church. When we pray, we say Nanaskuman. That means we're thankful, we're grateful. But as we float down the river of life, we have this piece of board that we hang on to. And that's what's keeping us afloat, our cleaning. And that water, we call that the milk of the earth. We're airlifting our babies to the local hospitals for drinking contaminated water. We're not going to have anywhere to run away to because we are from here. We are from this land. Indigenous rights, treaty rights, are the last stronghold that we have. As of March 28th of 2012, the Beaver Lake Cree set historical precedents and have been the first community to ever be granted a trial in relation to uh, the petroleum industry in traditional hunting territory. The provincial and the federal government has tried every trick in the book um, to have this case thrown out. It had to happen. I mean, somebody had to stand up and say, whoa. And in our situation, it's, it's the small guy that gets to do that. The only thing that's going to stop us from winning this lawsuit is money. And so here, the nation's poorest people are carrying one of the most historically precedent-setting litigations on their back. And it's up to the nation to get behind our people and support that.